it ain't level, but it's good enough. I always like the back of my edges to be down a few degrees as compared to level. We'll see if we can get it started. I found a adjustable wrench up there. We'll see what we have to have. I think it's a three horse pair. Fairbanks Morse. And y'all remember, I started this engine one time before in one of them. It's been a long time, about a year, maybe. I started this engine up. I looked down in there and it's dry as a bone. I mean, to the point where it's a flaking off the gas tank. And I don't think I put none of that cream in it. So. But seeing how I'm going to take that tank off there pretty soon, I think. The engine's for sale. Did I mention that? But we'll put some gas in there. I don't have enough. I, I built that tank. I forgot what the capacity was, but, you know, don't never think that you're going to start an engine if you ain't got no gas in there. I'm just saying, I think... I'm almost positive to the point that I'm almost positive I'll have to take that check valve out. You know, ten times out of ten you have to do that. And this uh, this throttle right here is quite uh, it's gummed up. So if I remember right, I um, I had I run this I run this engine off of uh, I, you know what I'm not even going to pull, pull that plug out there. Let's give it a change. Hmm. I ought to go check what that sound was right there. I wonder what that was. Something fell down. I found it. Now, I didn't find nothing in there. And you know sometimes I'll be talking about these. Uh, Oh yeah, that crank, got that crank handle's right down in there. Let's go up and get that out of there. Man. I put that down in there for safekeeping. And some of these engines now, you pretty much have to have a cranker on them. And these here fire banks, you know what I mean? I can work on this thing right here and I can get it where it'll almost start on turning them flywheels. But you know, what's the use? And this one right here had them belts that went on that there generator that was on top of it right here so if you you really needed this hand start this is actually the one that come with this engine right here fortunate enough to have that I'm sure well I used up almost all that gas I hope I got enough to prime it up there yeah I think that's what I did on this I mean it's been a year or so since we run this engine in the backyard there in Arkansas y'all remember that I'm sure, but I uh, yeah, don't run that over. But you know, it's okay. That's that's the reason you own these old engines. Just for such things as that. There, if you didn't do that, you wouldn't. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be no fun. Let's open that up. And you know, after you own an engine for a while, you kind of get used to it, and you know where where to put the put the put the knobs and stuff at. On a, I'm gonna close this one. You kind of know where to put them. Even this, this right here, I'm not sure where it's supposed to be at. Oh, I put way too much gas in there. It's running out them. It's a running out the thing over there now. I'm not using that check valve if I fill that that thing up. But let's just see if we if, if we if we've got any electric in it. Cause you know most time you have to take a cap off of them. Uh, don't leave that crank on there. You, you have to take that uh, cap off there and uh, sand them points, you know, most times. But we're, we're, we're going to give this one the best option. And, 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 and what you do, look right here, you start these engines as if it was one of them old T-model cars. You know, it only takes a quarter of a turn on a magneto that's got an impulse on it. Now this one right here, I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to turn it multi, multi times to get it going. 
too strong for me. You know what I mean? It's, it's, uh, oh yeah, I want to see about that intake valve. It's free, and the exhaust is free also. Check it out. Don't break a valve. And it's a little, it's the little thing in there. See this year? This is, like I say, this is a real nice original one. And it works right. It's got that little pal and it's quite sharp and it's got the spring and everything and the pin is really good. You should have one of them. But you get this thing on, on compression. See, when you get that on compression there, that good quarter of the turn, I'm going to choke it, I think. Mm. See, I should have fired off. So it's going to be uh, spark plug. Actually, I think I'm going to close this up because I think it got too much gas in there. You know, I should at least give it the opportunity to start. But I'm going to move that gas can over in there. You know, that shows some optimism. Because uh, it's in line with that, with that uh, muffler. Safety at all times. Okay, at this point, I think the check valve is stuck. Because when I switched it over from this sediment bowl here, this starting chamber, see, this actually was a kerosene engine. Could have run kerosene in the, in the fuel tank, and then you would only fill up this chamber here with gasoline. And uh, by the time you run out that amount, by the time you run out this amount of gasoline, it would be ready to run it on kerosene. But it should have picked it up through this through this side over here from the tank, and it didn't. So I'm assuming that uh, the check valve was not let. Could have been. Could have been. I didn't have this open enough. So we're, we're going to give it another shot. But if you've seen me on that, when I started that, what I've done is I held that valve in right there. That's what I was doing up here probably out of sight. I held that valve in. That way you can get this a turning. And I'm going to have to choke it again. 
Or I may have failed that spark plug. Now don't 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 hold it against the engine. I may have failed the spark plug by running it too rich down there. So Okay. You know, before we go any further, I'll show you something. really fouled up really bad you can see that it's really bad it fouled up well that emery cloth right there is all I could find over there had that stuck up beneath that underneath that, that, that but two layers of that if you fold it over two layers won't get underneath that I don't know maybe it will let's try it I forgot what the gap was on them, but, you know, you, you really don't have to be too precise. You know, but you do have to have a good, clean electrode. I should have already modified this one. I'm going to sand that topping right there, and then I'm going to turn this over right here and sand this, uh, and sand this, uh, that little post that's sticking up there. You know, bloat it out, it's good to go. But I would have thought, well, it's gas, you know. But, you, you, know, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you something. Well, y'all know, I, I've teached it to you. For years, so I should practice what I preach. On there. Uh, got it free over at the cheap store. You ought to get yourself one of them right there, even if you have to pay for it. Just saying, it's not bad. Uh, 30 weight non detergent in the can there. And and you know me, I, if, if you was talking to me and you said your engine wouldn't start, I sprayed it a little bit on the outside there. I give that about five good heavy squirts of that oil right there. You know what I mean? It was a liberal amount. Just down in there. Try to get on your valves if you can. It's good for them. Good for your rings. Pray tell that you would never pour any gasoline down that spark plug hole. You know, you're talking about bad practice. Man, that's some bad practice getting that habit of gassing them up in the carburetor. You know, just don't start it on the get-go. Spark plug. And I, I'm thinking too. You know, by all to to be to, to, to be to be honest with the engine. You know, I should uh, sand them points in that magneto. You know, it would just hip it. You know, I'm a, I'm gonna crimp them together a little more. Well, that's good. Oh, that's got a screw down on it. I forgot. <sighs> Good and tight. Let's give it a go again. See. We may have to work on it. But I think not. Smoke and leaf, mist, 
Oh, I ain't got no water in the house, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off kind of short. And we'll start up another next to this. This is just how we lay up the water to the front door there.